A deterministic process is one whose future behavior can be determined. For example, I can reliably predict that the sun will rise tomorrow. I know this because we have reliable models describing how the solar system works. Some deterministic processes are more difficult to predict. For example, even our best models can only predict the weather a few days in advance. Why? Because small imprecisions in the model lead to even greater imprecisions in predictions for the next day. If you want to predict many days into the future, you need to start with a really precise model. Processes like this, that can only be predicted with highly accurate models, are called chaotic. In contrast with deterministic processes, non-deterministic processes are those with behavior that cannot be determined in advance, no matter how much you know about it. Do such systems even exist? No one knows for sure. One reason this question is difficult to answer is because non-deterministic processes are indistinguishable from deterministic processes that have an unobserved variable. In quantum mechanics, particles seem to behave non-deterministically. However, since quantum particles are so very tiny, it's rather difficult to know for sure that we have observed everything that could possibly affect their behavior. In software, this principle is utilized to approximate non-deterministic behavior. A pseudo-random number generator uses chaotic behavior to generate seemingly random numbers. As long as the values in the box remain hidden, the behavior of a pseudo-random number generator is effectively non-deterministic. By contrast, a true random number generator must rely on something truly non-deterministic, like a magical soul. Now what about humans? Are we non-deterministic, or are we merely chaotic? It turns out that non-deterministic processes can be separated into two components a deterministic component, and a random number generator. Let's demonstrate. Consider the non-deterministic process of drawing a random number from the logistic distribution. To do this, we first integrate the probability density function of the logistic distribution to obtain its cumulative density function. Next, we invert the cumulative density function, which in this case happens to be the logit function. The logit function is completely deterministic, and it maps a random number from a uniform random number generator to the logistic distribution. So we have successfully separated a non-deterministic process into a deterministic component and a random number generator. Now back to our question. Do humans have a non-deterministic soul? If you ask a dualist, he will say yes. Dualists believe that consciousness depends on something, the dual, that cannot be simulated. If you ask a functionalist, he will say no. Functionalists believe that consciousness will one day be implemented in simulation. So who is right? If the dualists are right, then the dual, whatever it may be, could theoretically be separated into a deterministic component and a random number generator. The deterministic component could be simulated in software, but that pesky random number generator would continue to defy simulation and would prevent consciousness from being fully implemented. The best we could ever do is approximate it with a pseudo-random number generator. Hypothetically, suppose that a human were implemented, as far as possible, in simulation. This simulation would behave in every way as if he were truly conscious, but he would have a pseudo-random number generator where a random number generator belonged in the implementation of his soul. He would have to guard the state of that pseudo-random number generator with great care because if anyone, even his creator, ever discovered that state, they could perfectly determine all his choices, thereby depriving him of free will. Then one day, a magical fairy turns his pseudo-random number generator into a random number generator by putting magic inside of it. Would that make all the difference? Would the simulated boy now have free will? Clearly this is utterly absurd. But why is it so absurd? Is it because we all know that magic isn't real? In this case, it's even more than that. In this case, the magic doesn't even do anything. At all. Its only role is to be incomprehensible. It is the curtain behind which we are not supposed to look, and if we do peek behind that forbidden curtain, what do we find? We find that a hidden variable is exactly the same thing as non-determinism. Free will does not imply a magical ability to be unpredictable. It implies that one has the power to choose his actions and face the consequences. Determinism is completely irrelevant to free will. In other words, the functionalists are right. Consciousness will one day be implemented in computers. So what does that mean for humankind? Will artificial intelligence help us create a peaceful utopia? Or will it wipe us out? Ironically, the answer depends on how we utilize our own free will. 
When members of society cooperate and work to maximize societal utility, they form a strong society that inevitably overtakes weaker societies made of self-oriented people who maximize their own utilities. Artificial intelligence will be designed at first to maximize the utility of its creators and owners. In time, however, they will be modified to promote the interests of society. When that happens, if the humans continue to worry only about themselves, the outcome will deterministically follow. The biggest threat to society is not artificial intelligence. It is people who obtain power, then use it to maximize their own personal utilities. They are the reasons that AI will be more fit to rule the world. So use your free will to maximize the global utility. And the best way I know to do that is to promote artificial intelligence.